All right, so today, guys, is day 84, I believe, and I got nothing. I've been sitting around since 8 o'clock, walking around, trying to visualize, trying to watch other videos to try and steal inspiration from them. And I got to tell you, I don't have anything that came to top of mind that I felt would have a really, really big impact. And so today's video is about the creative space and what I'm learning trying to be a creative, even though my mind is like 99% analytical. And so it's interesting. I haven't felt this since I, I wrote a blog. I used to run a blog back in like 2015 about my thoughts and about my mentalities and philosophies. And a lot of people commented and said, they said it was fantastic and it's good. And they liked the way I looked at the world and different people wrote to me. And, and that was just hard to maintain while trying to train three times a day. So I stopped doing it, fell off, got inconsistent. And I remember going through some days of writer's block and with writer's block, it's different though, because you can type away and you can type garbage and eventually your garbage turns into something good. And then you can use that. Or sometimes you don't, and it's just an hour of hard typing through garbage. And eventually you edit your garbage and you have one good idea in there. And then you run with that idea and there's something, but it's different with video making like this, because with video making, I don't know, maybe you're supposed to just talk to the camera and that's your form of writing and you just keep talking until finally something comes out. I don't know, I haven't tried it. I just know that my methods for previously where you're supposed to walk around, try other ideas, I've watched other videos for those ideas. It just doesn't, I didn't see anything that was, that really stood out to me. The only thing that may have stood out was there's one video I watched where apparently these guys are trying to make themselves look like barbie ken or something i have no idea why it's on my feed probably because there's millions of views and it's going viral but this guy got like these leg augmentations or something and he's like so happy about the way his legs look i don't know how much he paid but he also could have just went to a gym and worked out for six months he probably would have the same legs so instead of I don't know, it just seems like instead of actually wanting to go work for something a lot of people are willing to just pay for it just like a lot of people, I guess you could walk up to a martial arts studio and ask how much is a black belt. In fact, you don't even have to ask that. I'll tell you the site. You go to visionmartialarts.com or vision.com, search vision martial arts in the US, Google a black belt, figure out how much a black belt costs, and you can buy one. I think they're like 30 bucks. I've never bought one in my life. They're probably maybe cheaper than that because look, at the end of the day, it's a $10 cloth, right? With some sewing on the sides and you fold it in half, sew it, and then you can watch a YouTube video for how to tie it. And you'll have this nice pristine uniform with a pristine black belt. But both you and everyone else who watches you step in the ring is going to know that that black belt isn't worth anything. So maybe that's today's video. Maybe it's today's video is that in the world today where everything is instant, the reason it's so important to work hard for something, the reason it's so important to work for something like this 100-day challenge, maybe the reason why it's so important to still do martial arts is because everything is at our fingertips, especially here in the Western world. Everything today is at our fingertips. If we want to go grocery shopping, I don't even have to go pick my groceries. I can have them ready at Safeway when I go over there or Amazon, we can order stuff to come here. I don't have to go anywhere. There's not even work for food. And then I guess apparently now people are, are getting implants for muscles. I saw the one with oil. People used to inject oil and that just looked like, it looked completely off when people use synthetic oil to irritate the muscle and they like, Instead of looking actually jacked, they just looked like they had bubbles under the skin. It was really gross. And then there's another one. Yeah, there's this one with the implants. It's just like, dude, if you just work for six months, not only would you have saved thousands of dollars, you'd look normal and you'd have strong legs instead of legs that look like they're strong. So I don't have a really point today for today's video, guys. It's really just sometimes there are days like this on your grind especially if you're trying to do something, there's days where just the ideas may not come, but you still got to find a way to better yourself. You still have to find a way to put down some kind of effort for today. Today, besides this, I read, I journaled, I got on a call with someone who can help my fashion because I'm trying to upgrade my style and make sure that the way I look and I think, and I think about the world is present in the way that I show myself to the world. That sounds like a weird philosophy, and it might be for some people, but as I get older, what you'll notice is that there are a lot of entrepreneurs who dress a certain way for a certain reason. So if you look at Alex Ramosi, his whole thing, besides giving away a lot of tips for uh, 
money and for business is he started with gyms. His whole life has just been gym and lifting. And so he dresses like a lifter because that's essentially who he's talking to. He's talking to gym owners. Was his That was his core audience. For Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, Steve Jobs, I don't really know 100%, but I know a lot of other entrepreneurs and they dress fairly well. And after getting to know them, you understand more so the, they, why they dress the way they do. So that's something I'm trying to make sure is that it like is the way I'm dressing showing what my personality is like because there are different things you communicate with that. So that's just something for you guys to consider. I guess beyond that, for those of you who are still watching, I appreciate you guys staying with me on this journey. Hopefully something comes to mind tomorrow. I had a little bit of an idea of what maybe today's video could be about, but I didn't think it was strong enough to share or really worth sharing. So today's video is just that. It's just that there are times like today where there's supposed to be struggle and it's pushing through the struggle. I think that makes you harden your or crystallize your vision to the goal. And it's a step in the daily habits to just make sure that every day you take a step to your goal, no matter what it is, whether that's reading more books, whether that's being more accountable to your family and your friends, whether that's having a better relationship to your child. Every day, take one step forward. Do something to take one step forward, even if it's difficult, even if it's not super inspired, even if you're not fully motivated. Take that step. And to be honest, I think that's today's video, guys. I got to sleep. I got to wake up tomorrow. Appreciate you guys staying with me. See you all tomorrow.